So the first pattern, as you can see here, it starts with a floor tom and bass drum on beat one, followed by a left hand on tom one, bass drum, right hand on tom three, left hand on snare drum, bass drum, then right hand on tom three, left hand on tom one, bass drum, etc. You get the idea. Now, the ending is a little bit different, as you can see. On beat four, I hit a snare drum and then a right left foot. So you're gonna actually hear two bass drums from the end back to the beginning. It's kind of a fun little pattern. I'll play it really slowly at first, and you can also follow along with the notation. It sounds like this. Okay, now here's the same pattern again, a little bit faster. Make sure you have it comfortable, slow first before you speed it up. Okay, so, so far the pattern has only included the right and left hand and the right foot. Well, opposite if you're lefties, I guess. Um, but I haven't included my left foot yet, my hi-hat foot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna incorporate that by adding it on the off beats, eighth note off beats. It really helps bring out the syncopation of the pattern. It sounds really nice. It sounds like this. Okay, now here it is again, a little bit faster. Now, I'm sure many of you don't have this little contraption that I have, I have a cowbell with a pedal attached to it beside my hi-hat, so I can actually play the off beats on my cowbell with my left foot. Um, it's a fun little toy. Like I said, if you don't have one, you can still play it on the hi-hat, that's fine. But the cowbell is a little more uh, forceful than the hi-hat. So I'm gonna play it on the cowbell, again, just to bring out the syncopation of the pattern. It sounds like this. Okay, now that the hand pattern is firmly established, we can start to mess around a little bit with it. Um, instead of playing my right hand on tom three and my left hand on tom one, I'm gonna move my hands so that my right hand is playing on my cowbell, which is over here, and my left hand is gonna be playing on my hi-hat. Other than that, it's the exact same pattern, just again, moving my hands over here. It sounds like this. Okay, so now we have a pretty good idea of, you know, what to do with this particular beat. I'm gonna throw a new variation out there. On this one, I'm only gonna start with my foot and then go into the right left uh, foot pattern. On this one, you'll notice because I changed a little bit, the right hand is gonna play the backbeat on the snare drum as opposed to the first pattern where the left hand played the backbeat. So I'll do it slow at first. It sounds a little bit like this. Okay, so here's a faster version of the same pattern. This time I've decided to add the left foot offbeats 
on my hi-hat again. Again, just to help bring out the syncopation of the pattern. Okay, so for this final pattern, I'm gonna do something similar to what I did with the first one. I'm gonna move my hands away from the toms and over here, um, my right hand's gonna move from the floor tom to the cowbell. My left hand is gonna move from tom one to the hi-hat. My left foot, I'm gonna move it over to my left foot cowbell. So I'm gonna actually uh, loosen off the hi-hat clutch here so I can do that. So you're gonna hear two different cowbells in this pattern. I mean, again, I'm sure most of you don't have the left foot cowbell contraption thing, um, but it's just an idea. If you do have one, it's kind of fun. Um, certainly you can do it with other things as well. You can hook up a little wood block or a tambourine or, or whatever you want. It's all about having fun and experimenting. Okay, so here's this final pattern. Okay, that does it for today. I hope you guys have enjoyed these Tom patterns. Uh, if you want to, feel free to leave me a message. Or if you like, you can check out my website, www.mcgoverndrums.com. You can certainly uh, you know, send me a line that way. Let me know how you're doing, uh, what's going on with your drumming, if there's anything I can help you with. And uh, yeah, be great to get to know you. All right, so that's it for today. Have a great day.